Hello. Today we will deal with such an oscilloscope. Popular, DSO-138. This is an oscilloscope that we can assemble ourselves. In this case, I bought it already assembled, and it works as you can see. But I recently noticed a problem, and now we'll show you what it is about. I have supplied voltage from the power source to the inputs. I have turned on the switch in AC mode, that is, alternating current, and we will see how it behaves when we apply constant voltage to the input. So, the voltage is currently 4.6 volts. I start to increase. Basically, as long as the voltage is constant, then accordingly, our oscilloscope should not react in any way. As you can see, when we pass 6 volts voltage, the oscilloscope line starts to slowly move up. And at 10 volts, it reaches the top of the screen. We have a constant voltage of 0.37 volts that he is measuring. We'll look at the schematic. Here is the schematic of the oscilloscope. We are interested in input circuits. Here it is a switch that toggles DC, AC, or ground. As you can see, when it's in AC mode, that is alternating current, there's a capacitor here that's supposed to remove the DC component. What I can assume is that this capacitor, as the voltage increases, starts to leak voltage, which accordingly interferes with the operation of the oscilloscope, so I will open it up, seize out what happens and possibly replace this capacitor. One hundred nanofarads, small, likely voltage breakdown. Instead, I will put this capacitor, also one hundred nanofarads, but at two hundred fifty volts. In order for it to fit in this place, I will have to extend one leg. I'll turn it back on. 
I will apply power. I'll start zooming in again. So this is the maximum value of our power supply. Up to 30 volts, as you can see, the line does not deviate from the zero position. This completes the micro repair of this micro oscilloscope.